the only way to get closure from the narcissist. The only way to get a sense of resolution and conclusion from the narcissist. The only way they will give you the feeling that the emotional and traumatic experience has been resolved. Narcissists do not give closure. They leave your questions unanswered. They leave you in a state of confusion and uncertainty. They never take accountability for their actions. They never tell you why they did what they did. One day they just disappear without any reason or explanation for why they're gone. And maybe you see a picture on social media or you hear about it from a family member or mutual friend. You discover that they're with someone else. And you are led to believe that they're so much happier with this new person as though it's so different than it was with you. They could never be that way with you. But now they can be that way with someone else. Everything they refuse to do with you, they're now doing it with someone else. They're giving them everything that they withheld from you. And then they're giving this information to your family member or mutual friend. Or they're posting it up on social media because they're intending to hurt you. They're intending to cause harm to you. It's emotional abuse. They're devaluing you. They're trying to make you feel like you're nothing. And this new person is so much better than you because you could never make them happy. Nothing you did was ever good enough. So they're already expecting you to blame yourself. They're already expecting you to feel worthless and insignificant. Because that's how they're intending to make you feel. That's what it's designed to do to you. But try not to let this affect you. Don't fall for these misleading impressions. It's not real. It's an orchestration. They planned and coordinated the elements of the situation to produce their desired effect. You just need to recognize that it is an illusion. You need to recognize that you are dealing with a narcissist. They didn't give you closure because then it left the door open for them to come back to you. They put you on the shelf so that they could keep track of you in case they wanted to return. They didn't give you closure because they're emotionally stunted at the level of a two-year-old child. And you were that child's toy. Which is why one minute they loved you and then the next minute they ignored you out of boredom. 
they don't understand the idea of a mature reciprocal relationship. They're self-absorbed and they lack empathy. They think the world is meant to revolve around their needs, not yours. They are an emotionally immature toddler in an adult body who is not aware of or concerned about the needs of other people. When the narcissist doesn't give you closure, it should reveal to you who and what you're dealing with. Because there's only three types of people who refuse to give closure. Narcissists, sociopaths and psychopaths. People who are very manipulative. People who take advantage of your kindness. If a person refuses to give you closure, that should tell you everything you need to know. It should tell you who they are. It should reveal to you that they are incapable of genuine empathy or connection. It should reveal to you that they just see people as objects to be used. And that's your closure right there. They've already given it to you. What they do carries more weight than what they say. Their actions show their true intentions. The only way to get closure from a narcissist is to look at their actions. Just look at how they're treating you. They're gaslighting you. They're making you doubt your reality so that they can control you. They're devaluing you. They leave you feeling like you're less than them. But when this happens, you need to notice it. And recognize that someone is making you feel this way. You're not experiencing these emotions on your own. They are inducing these emotions in you. They're causing you to feel that way. Because they want you to think they're more valuable than you are, which should tell you everything you need to know. It should give you the closure that you need. And it's the same thing when they compare you to other people. They're telling you that someone else is worth more than you. They're portraying it as though this other person can't do anything wrong. As though they're above you. Which isn't true. But that's what they're telling you. Which is more closure again. And sometimes... The narcissist will lead you on by dropping small amounts of interest. They might give you an occasional message or phone call, a small arrangement or social media interaction, which should tell you that they're not really committed to you. But they just want to keep you as a backup plan. If something else fails. Sometimes the narcissist won't give you any interest at all. They will ghost you. And they won't give you a reason or explanation. They will just disappear. As though it's not even worth their time. 
which should tell you that your feelings don't mean anything to them. It should tell you that you're not important to the narcissist. They may stick around, but without having any emotional investment in you, which should tell you that they're just using you. They're just biding their time until they get bored or until they find someone else. But they never really tell you these things directly. Which causes you to second guess yourself. It causes you to question their actions and decisions. But actions speak louder than words. What they do is more important than what they say. So this should give you the closure that you need. You should recognize that you deserve better. You deserve to be treated with love and respect. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.